Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're going to take a look at a Lenovo ThinkPad L15 Gen 2 laptop PC. This one has a 10-point multi-touch display, and these are going to be a lot like the E15s, but just a slightly better build quality. The hinges are a little bit better, and then this has a side dock connector that will allow you to set this into a docking station more like the old style, except the dock connector slides in from the side. The E15s and a lot of the other ThinkPads only work with a plug-in dock. We'll look at the specs, the outside, the inside, and the benchmarks of the PC as well. Let's take a look. This laptop PC has an AMD Ryzen 5 Pro 5650U 6-core processor, 2.3 GHz base, 4.2 GHz boost, AMD Radeon graphics, 8 GB of DDR4 RAM, 256 GB NVMe PCIe X4 M2 SSD, 15.6-inch 1080p IPS 10-point multi-touch display, Gigabit Ethernet, AX Wi-Fi with Bluetooth 5.2, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 and one Gen 2, HDMI 2.0, 720p camera with privacy shutter, dual mic array, TPM 2.0, micro SD card reader, 65 watt USB-C power adapter, Windows 10 Pro 64 bit and weighs 4.39 pounds. The lid and palm rest are both aluminum and the bottom is ABS plastic. Webcams at the top of the screen with dual mic array and privacy shutter. There's a full size keyboard with number pad and function keys along the top. Here's the power button, track point with clicky buttons and touchpad. On the left side is a USB type C charging connector and the docking connectors. USB type A, HDMI, micro SD card, and gigabit ethernet. On the right side is a Kensington lock location, exhaust vents, USB type A, and a headset jack. To get inside of this laptop, you have to start by backing out all of these screws. They are retained and will stay in the base. Then there are pop clips all the way around. This is the main system battery and stereo speakers, the NVMe SSD location, two SODIMM slots, only one is populated on this model, and they are capable of dual channel mode. This is where a cellular card would be if this was included on this model. This is the wireless and Bluetooth card, and the CPU location with heat pipes that go to a heat sink assembly and fan. The touchscreen is extremely accurate and easy to use. It's very easy to double click and single click and right clicking is just a hold. The overall pass mark score for this PC is 3766 which is the 48th percentile. The CPU mark is 14289 which is the 73rd percentile. The 2D marks the 56th percentile and the 3D marks the 24th. This does only have integrated graphics, so I don't expect a very high score in either of these categories. The memory mark is 1907, which is the 27th percentile. That is a bit low. It is not operating in dual channel mode, though the motherboard does support it. The model we received may have just had inferior memory to some of the other ones they make as well. The disk mark is 22876, the 92nd percentile. The L15 Gen 2 is an excellent laptop. I've already done a review on the L14, and they're both really good quality. The touchscreen works very well, but I don't find myself using touch on a traditional laptop very often, and even on tablet convertibles, I rarely convert them into tablets. But that said, this is a great value and a really good build quality, so I'd highly recommend it for a business class laptop. And you might even be able to get it without touch and save a few bucks. If you do intend to purchase, I'll put a link in the description, and if you could go ahead and use that link, it would help support our channel. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and if there's anything you want to add I didn't include, please put that in the comments as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks!